Here is my Highlander map guide for Payload Battle Pro, specifically version 8. I'll be trying out a new format in this video where I'll give a basic overview of the ideas for each point before going more in depth. If you could leave your thoughts on this change to the format, I would really appreciate it. Thank you. While defending Battle Order first, you'll usually have your combo set up on cliff and then your flank will be roaming around on the left. The biggest responsibility for the flank is to try to lock down this left side primarily to deny the sniper and to also occasionally check the tunnel exit. A big thing for everybody on this point is to make sure you do not bleed players as their spawns are so close and so much faster than yours that any trade kills will definitely favor the attacking team and will just cause you guys to lose the point. Another big thing on this point, especially for Badwater, is to make sure you don't overcommit and you get out alive with enough players to get a solid hold set up on two. For a more in-depth look at how to hold first, oftentimes with your combo set up here, they'll be sending suicides in, and so having your heavy and your pyro and hopefully the gun unwrangled to deny bombers better can be pretty strong, although that does open the gun to going down. Oftentimes for the initial suicide, you'll want someone looking at the tunnel in case they try to send their demo in through quickly to stick you guys from below. Oftentimes, when they're actually committing to a push, you'll encounter them coming up cliff. In that situation, you just want to uber your pyro and air blast them back, and then to make sure you guys retain the high ground and you don't like run off chasing kills. Overall, it's so key to have your flank alive, and so having them communicate well with each other and rotate for buffs so they don't go down is so key to this point. Because if you can keep their sniper denied from the left, your combo will have almost no risk to dying and they can do a fine job of watching the car path and anybody who's pushing. So making sure you're living on flank is just too important to describe and make sure you're calming where they are and if they're pushing. Uh, one option for the soldier, it's kind of a suicide play but if they're pushing cliff and you're in this general area then bombing onto the mat on cliff and going for a force can be pretty helpful. If they decide to blob up and push through tunnel for their sort of main uber push, then usually if you can spam down on them and get the force, or oftentimes what works is just having your heavy drop down to here or right onto here, and at such close range if the demo peaks to spam, you can either be killed right away or the heavy can fully commit and then be point blank in the face of everybody. Um, in that situation, if you get the call from your flank peeking and whatnot that their meds close, then it's definitely a fine option to just drop down and trade ubers here. The biggest thing to keep in mind is that once they start to fade, even if you're not getting kills, it's ideal to just rotate back up and get to the high ground again so you don't get caught out. Oftentimes, what happens on this point is you slowly bleed players and their sniper gets angles, and then your combo is sort of stuck here. And so, Making use of the new change to Badwater Pro that this shutter door opens before the points capped for the defenders only. It'll allow you guys to escape. Oh, I guess I'm trapped. But in general, exactly like that, you can escape. That's very, very important on this map. It's the fastest cap time. I think it's just over two minutes for the first to last times three. And so making sure that you're not getting rolled out through points is pretty much the only way to guarantee that you guys will do at least decently on the map and just keeping in mind like first it's not expected to hold that long so don't feel like you need to hold if you're getting pressured out early. When you're holding bad water second oftentimes you won't have a chance to set up on roof and you'll be stuck sort of playing a soft hold at this corner which is totally fine Usually you want to just watch out for snipers peeking from above and soldiers bombing over this fence here. And then just trying to s delay them slightly and make sure that you guys get your core classes out and ready to defend third. But if you do manage to get out clean of first and you're setting up to hold roof, make sure you're not letting them get the cart pressured in and you have clear comms so you know where they're pushing from and you use your combo and possibly even your uber to react to other pushes stop them. For holding second, oftentimes 
you won't have the opportunity to hold roof as your most teams have a problem they lose too many players on first and so they just back out and they can't really get up to second on the roof to hold well um, however if you get your ng and your med and enough like core classes out and you're able to get a solid setup on roof it can be a very strong hold the biggest things to keep in mind are knowing where the enemy combo is and being able to react and deny their push oftentimes now the best option is just pushing on the cart so that's something you guys got to be really aware of and since the Wrangler and Rescue Ranger are nerfed, it's easier for them to just spam down your gun. So as long as you are paying attention to the cart and not letting it get capped too easily, and you're oftentimes having the demo playing in this position because it can spam over this corner and spam down on cart fairly easily is good. Level 3 gun in this vicinity. And then usually having your sniper up top can be a little bit better as this fence neuters the sni sniper sight lines a tiny bit to the point where just being a little more defensive and alive is probably going to benefit you more. For the flank, oftentimes you'll be wanting to just roam around in the back. There's definitely plenty of good health packs back here for the soldier to be bombing around and harassing players as they come into the lobby down there. So just using your flank for info and just to distract from behind and also to deny their flank from pushing out and flanking your combo. In general, having the pyro sort of play in this position to air blast spam from the soldier who might be behind and to be able to air blast people off the edge if they end up coming from the back. And then it's just a quick rotation to be able to air blast and stuff them in here. And then the heavy can really be rotating around the roof to wherever he's needed. But if you guys are having a lot of trouble with the cart path, it's fine to have your soldier rotate up top to just add extra spam. In that case, you'd probably want to have your heavy more focused on the backyard to deny players pushing up. The flank is pretty dynamic. They can rotate really anywhere, but it's a rule of thumb. Watching the back is probably going to be advantageous. However, for most teams, the roof hold won't work that well. And so just doing sort of a soft hold at the corner can be strong. Just tanking your sniper, having him peek, getting out spam on the cart, trying to deny them a free cap essentially. A thing for the soldier and scout to be doing is to be playing sort of aggressive on roof. Um, and just sort of using the health packs from behind and playing similarly to how they would if they were doing a standard roof hold. Um, because having that even that small presence on roof will deny their sniper from just getting up and peeking you guys for free. But back to the sort of soft hold, the biggest things you want to watch out for, like spies decloaking right there, just making sure that your NG has time to set up for third, and that you guys are not losing like your med or your demo, then so you'll be able to set up strongly for third. It's mostly about delaying without committing. And so it's a trade-off that oftentimes favors the defense, as they can get rocks all third hold without really risking a second hold. And it's also an easy way to make up for mistakes you might make on first by losing too many players. Third is where the map really starts to slow down if played correctly. Oftentimes, NG in this window is pretty much standard. The biggest threat for your hold oftentimes will be a sniper or flank classes peeking from the top right and getting free shots on your medic. That's why either from plank here or up close you want to make sure your flank and your sniper are focused on locking down boiler. Oftentimes as a combo you need to be very careful about spies decloaking and coming in from right around these corners because those can be quite hard to expect. And just overall be ready for aggressive suicides and just make sure you don't bleed players like any other point and you'll be set up to hold there for quite a while. Third can be a very strong point. However, with the new changes, there's this a wider stairwell here and a sort of whole little back room in this area. And so it is possible for the heavy to stand right here and body block the spy from getting up top. Something I consider doing, but I don't think it would really be worth it as it's only really protecting one class and you have to stand pretty perfectly in the middle. Oftentimes, just sort of a standard hold playing in this area with your combo making sure that 
the heavier the demo is just plowing out of here unexpectedly. Um, you can be spamming over the roof as a demo to deny them. One good trap spot to consider as demo is right in this hole. Um, it'll really punish anybody who peeks or if they try to oob around this corner. It's hard to see. You can get them way back in there and you can just crush anybody who comes around. Another thing to consider is if they're pushing from the low ground, staying up top and just fighting them, spamming down on them, and not taking damage but still being able to deal damage with that height advantage is a very, very strong thing. Dropping down and fighting them is really not worth it as oftentimes you'll end up running into a sniper sight line who's just chilling down there on the cart and you'll get picked. But in general, like the biggest things for third really are having your soldier in this area just denying with spam. If the demo has this trapped, probably won't have to spam it as much, but it's a bit trickier now than it used to be as you can be peeked from that spot as well. So coming back, getting buffed here so you don't get rushed by a scout or a soldier. Making sure you're living and more denying rather than going for plays. Um, because if you're alive, that's very, very strong. It allows your med, your demo, and your heavy to just sort of have free reign in this area and not have to worry about snipers. However, if you see that the sniper's alone, then definitely take the opportunity to kill him. Um, playing up here also lets you rotate for ammo to the dispenser and sort of spy check occasionally to help protect the NG. I think it could potentially be viable to try some sort of hold where most of your team was up in this sort of room area. The only thing that I'd be concerned about is having such little forward presence that they could push the cart fairly easily. So it could be something worth trying, however, I don't think it'll work. But in general, playing fairly close can be good. Um, you can peek through this window, see what's coming. It protects you a fair deal from the sniper peeking that side, however, it does expose you from being rushed quickly on either side. It's just little trade-offs to keep in mind mostly based around the snipers, so in sort of the more n levels like iron, steel, silver to an extent, it won't be that big of a deal for the sniper to be peeking you that much, but it's just something to keep in mind and be prepared for. get to last, you can still hold on for quite some time. Oftentimes the best way to do this is when they push in with Uber, is to either kite back into the spiral staircase or down to your lower spawn. Even if you guys have Uber, it's perfectly fine to kite, as then you can re-push into them with your spawners coming in, random players scattered around, and your combo all collapsing in onto them by the cart in the post-Uber fight. Another thing to keep in mind for your flank classes is that if you can flank out through spiral during their push and kill their cappers, you'll be set up to make them really slow to actually cap, and so even if you lose players, they'll be able to respawn and fight cart. So clearing the cart, if at all possible, and then just kiting and then collapsing back in, you guys will be able to set up and get a very long last hold. Defending last, some of the best options for the engineer, in my opinion, are to have the gun either in those two spots, and then be playing on the opposite side, and just sort of rescue rangering it to heal it, and then if they start committing to push, then just rescue rangering it out and rebuilding it quickly with a jag because it'll sort of bait their uber into the wrong spot and your team will be able to sort of juke their uber more effectively as well if they're trying to focus on the gun and then you'll just have a level 3 for the post uber fight shooting them in the back. It is fairly common for snipers to go up there. It's pretty useful for the med to just be aware of that. Oftentimes you want your soldier and or your scout playing by tires so you know what's coming. Um, making sure you're aware of where they're pushing is similar to second. It's very, very important for last because you don't want to be surprised by people coming out of map room or coming out of tires. If players are coming through spiral, you usually want to commit your heavy and soldier to immediately deal with them because they can just be a pain for quite a long time. Usually playing close while defending will just open you up to being killed yourself and so playing a little bit more passive and spamming as a demo and med combo can be more effective but as long as you're playing in a safe range you know where they're coming 
is being prepared to back up and kite their push. And then everyone understanding that once the Uber's over, you want to collapse back in on them and just clean up all the kills. That's, again, very important, just making sure your team knows the plan and they're ready to execute it. Another option for the soldier and or the pyro is to be playing up in map room and just sort of just spamming through that tiny door and denying them. On this map, it's oftentimes you'll find your sniper sort of isolated and has a chance to go down. So just be ready for them to push if you lose your sniper. And if you know that their soldier's pressuring, that's a good indication as well that they might be ge gearing up to push rather. But overall, as long as you can kite back and avoid their Ubers and then repush, that's very strong. Another option that's sort of a benefit of your soldier if he's playing tires and your scout as well or map even, is being able to push behind and sort of flank their push and clean up the cart pushers because oftentimes pushes will fail where the combo pushes up, destroys your combo, but they have nobody pushing and so it takes them a good 20 seconds to move it forward, which time your team can just spawn and deal with them. So something that's very underrated that I see a lot out of high level teams is just cleaning the cart behind the combo push. This is just something to be aware of. Last, like every other point, just staying alive on defense is very important. It's even for the flank, it's definitely not good to trade with players because your lives are very key to being able to defend against post super fight pushes. So just being aware of your surroundings, knowing where they're coming from, and not getting caught out will let you guys hold last for quite some time. While pushing first, I simply tend to go fist of steel heavy on cart, and along with my scout or whoever else is available, just make sure we get the cart pushed up to the end of the tunnel. While we're doing that, normally the best option is to have your scout, or rather your spy, your demo, and your soldier all coordinating and bombing and going to try to kill the gun or get a force on their med. Usually you'll have time for one to two of those coordinated suicides by the time the cart gets pushed up. And then you can either group up and push up the right side, play off your sniper and try to get picks on their combo, or go straight into pushing into them from on cliff, or by going straight in from the right side. For pushing first, one option that can work occasionally is to rush your demo and your combo quickly through the tunnel, and to sort of spring out and either just spam onto their combo and try to kill the gun quickly, or to just as fast as you can just rush up and uber into them. Oftentimes I can catch teams off guard and work pretty well as sort of like a last ditch sort of quick gimmick. Um, oftentimes it's not that consistent because usually teams will have a sniper or something peering down this hallway and they'll be able to see it coming. Another pretty strong option is to take over this right side and try to pick off their flank classes that might be playing too aggressive or to simply set up with your sniper just pretty much sit here and just give them free reign to get kills. Their med, demo, heavy, NG will just be sitting there slowly wiggling back and forth. So it's definitely an option for you guys to try that if you're confident in your sniper. Another thing is to consider to just coming to the high ground and pressuring them out and just trading goobers. Usually you want to just trade on one or two players, maybe take a pyro and a demo in. Um, oftentimes it's best for the heavy to just sort of come up and sort of sit here and try to mow down people after the Ubers are over and then the pyro will sort of protect your demo hopefully from being air blasted but in general with this push you just want to try to fight them on cliff cause them to back off the high ground and then take over the high ground yourselves and then essentially just take the high ground and then push them back slowly if they've given up the high ground and you're sort of respawning with a lot of players and just trying to rush forward and get aggressive over the right side, it's quite strong. As long as you're wary of the sniper sight lines, you'll pretty much be good. With that fence, again, it's easier to cross this. So just making sure you're coordinated and sort of syncing up your spawns to push. Another thing to definitely consider is sending your spy behind just to sap the Tellyet spawn because having to walk from spawn all the way to here for most classes will take a pretty long time and if you guys have been having trouble in scrims capping first then just 
doing that will consistently help you guys cap faster. The best way to push second is to immediately get aggressive after you break their first hold. If you do so, you can oftentimes rush forward and even begin to spawn camp before they can have a chance to sit up. Oftentimes you'll just find yourself at the corner fighting their spawners and locking them out from even attempting to hold. The main thing you need to worry about is a sniper peeking this corner. Other than that, just make sure you're blobbed up and you keep your meta alive and you get the cap. Occasionally, they'll be able to get a hold on roof and oftentimes the best way to deal with that is to simply overwhelm the cart and use your fist of steel heavy, your scout, or your spy to just nudge the cap in while your demo and soldier spam in. For pushing second, usually just muscling your way on cart track, just straightforward and simple play is the best. Since the Wrangler Rescue Ranger nerf, it's easier to spam and kill the gun. And oftentimes, if you have your soldier or your scout sort of flanking around in the backyard, their team won't be as focused on the cart, and so you can muscle your way forward. Additionally, just having your sniper peeking this edge and trying to mock in a body shot someone or just headshot them can be pretty good. Get a pick on their NG or their med or their demo, anybody peeking over that edge. And then just combined with the spam, you'll be able to either b make them back up a little bit, in which case you can just get the cap pretty easily, or you can just get kills and roll on through. Oftentimes, you will just find that they're sort of on the ground, and so having your sniper peek first to make sure there's not a sniper just chilling on the single. It's pretty strong. Once you sort of get the cart pushed up decently, if you know that their med is moderately close, having your sniper up on roof taking pot shots can be good. And then if they're still close, then having your soldier bomb around this, land on their combo at the same time as your demo and or your heavy sort of peek around this corner and just try to sync up that damage to maybe kill the med or force them, or worse, just force them to back up. And again, once you cap second, you'll get the new forward spawn in tunnel that's new to the pro version of the map, and so dying here won't be as big of a deal as it used to be on the standard Badwater. Pushing Badwater to third can often be quite a struggle fest. If you have a strong sniper or even just a decent sniper playing around him in boiler and letting your sniper get kills in this huge sightline, it's a very reliable and straightforward way to get third. Another option to consider is having your soldier take over this top left area and then either spam and kill the engineer or just pressure the gun. If your sniper forces them to either back up due to the sightline or manages them to get kills and cause them to back up due to being down numbers, then oftentimes either just flooding in from either the top right or top left or just shoving your way in through by the car track will be successful. The big thing is just to make sure that once you get an advantage you use it and you don't let any opportunities go to waste when pushing third. On third, oftentimes it can be quite hard to push this point and so just trying to consistently work picks with your sniper top left or having your soldier get set up top left here and as he's spamming the gun and NG just trying to get your demo in a position to spam as well and just try to combine to take down the gun. Another thing since there's no dispenser block depending on how many players they have there having your spy go up there and trying to sap the gun coordinate that with your demo spam or your soldier spam and just killing that gun can be very important. Oftentimes what you'll see is if your sniper is set up in boiler their combo will tend to sort of back up to this corner and so they won't have the best ability to contest cart and if you see that backing up you just want to make sure your team knows and either your sniper or anyone else peeking comms that and if they end up doing that then just sort of flooding forward with your demo heavy med and just sort of pressuring up to this corner and just sort of hanging out here holding the corner as the cart moves up is your best bet however if they try to push up closer then one option if you guys are at even ubers is try to swarm in everybody at once and pinch them as fast as you can from that door from here and rushing beneath them that can be a good option to quickly just overwhelm and get a force if you're needing to sort of open up a push another option is really just to try to work your way around the left here 
spam them back, coordinate a soldier bomb over with your demo peeking and spamming, and just try to force them back with coordinated spam and just sort of rushing down their players. Another option is to just sort of get your sniper set up here, and so anybody who peeks out is risking being body shot or headshot, and then once he's there, just sort of brute forcing your way forward with your combo, just sort of playing around this edge, spamming them out at the corner, just trying to lock them out on the corner as you guys push. But in general, the big thing is we're just trying to force them back without the sniper staring at them, or spam pushing them out, and just trying to lock them at the corner as you guys push. And then, with the new update, it's easier to kill the gun, so making sure the gun goes down, and sort of using that to open up your push is also a very good option. Pushing bad order last can be fairly tricky. You have to deal with people flanking from spiral, from map, and the very long sniper sight lines. One option is, if they're close, to just have your soldier bomb around and land on their heads while your combo peaks. Or, if they're playing passive, trying to get a pick on their sniper and then work your way in before using. Other options include just dropping down on their combo directly and Ubering on them, Ubering from map room, or simply just trying to work picks and slowly edge your way forward while spamming the players who are likely going to be clumped up in there. Another big thing to help you be successful when pushing last is to try to get your soldier buffed and set up in spiral so you can pinch their combo or anyone who happens to be there as you guys are pushing and that can really be quite powerful. So as long as you coordinate w with your spy for saps and your soldier to pinch them you guys should be able to get solid quick last pushes. Pinion pushing last is the hardest for the pro version. Once you cap third there's a new sort of change the f forward spawn. It is still very far back, but you do get the ability to walk out of a shutter and come out of boilers so you're a little bit faster. But in general, you want to make sure you have a teleporter set up so you can get your spawners back fast enough to really leverage your spawn advantage. Oftentimes, if you're pushing, the best things to do beforehand are to try to clear out a soldier who could be playing in here and just sort of make sure that you won't be instantly flanked from behind if you start committing to a push. Another thing to consider is if it's even Ubers and you don't want to just go in with no advantage, um, to have your scout sitting back building with your med if you don't have it, or your pyro just sitting back with your med to protect and just being very, very far out so there's no chance of you guys dying, but then just buffing up your team and then running out and then having everyone else suicide in for a force or a kill on the gun. That can oftentimes just getting that many people swarming in will at least kill the gun. Another thing to consider is if your sniper is doing well and can kill their sniper consistently, then just killing their sniper and then sort of working your way forward on the cart track after their sniper's dead and just sort of pressuring them out. And just oftentimes the gun and their whole combo will all be clumped up there. And so having your soldier in your demo aggressively spamming them down can get kills or a force. Another thing to consider while you're doing that is sending your soldiers spiral and so they're getting spam from two angles. Just little variations like that of coordinated spam can do wonders. Oftentimes the teams will be good at sort of cutting your uber and keeping enough players alive that they can stop your push and so taking a solo uber possibly and just dropping down on them is another option. You can force them to multi, and oftentimes if their pyro is not perfectly positioned, your bed will be able to squeak out and then meet up with the team again. And that can be good to just force a multi. You can usually kill the gun and kill players so the med doesn't flash. Another option to consider for killing your sniper is just having your flank bust through here and get straight into them, as that's probably the most common spot. Um, additionally, just trying to not let them kill your cappers as you're pushing. That's a big thing for this point, is getting cap time during your push or immediately afterwards. Oftentimes, after the like main push has gone on, having your combo for the most part play around the cart as it's moving in is very important. Just keeping that times three is so key, especially on this last. 
as it has a pretty long ways to go. So making sure that it's moving during the push, and so you're going to get the cap before everybody who killed respawns and comes into you with high ground. And just playing around cart, you get ammo and health. So making sure the cart's moving while you're pushing, you're using suicide plays to get advantages, and you're coordinating spies to sap the gun with your pushes. It can definitely be hard to do that. Even top teams can't do it all the time. So just working at it, improving slowly, and just doing your best. If you guys can even just piece a few tactics together, then you guys can definitely bust through last holds.